Fellowship family, as we continue in the Galatians series, uh, each week we've been highlighting a different area of ministry, and today I'm here with a few friends Yay. who I love dearly, and uh, they're truly living out this idea of us being a people who give their lives away on mission. Let's um, let's start with Storm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Storm, what is outreach at Fellowship? Yeah. What's the mission and vision? What are we trying to accomplish? Yeah, for sure. Well, really, we just want to be like Jesus, we're following his footsteps. And yeah. so um, we want to uh, seek and save after the lost, the marginalized, the oppressed. Um, we want to be able to show up well with our hands and feet and heart. We want to be able to give both mercy and justice, um, fight against systems of uh, injustice, right, and oppression. And so um, we we value, um, you know, community transformation yeah. uh, will happen as, as people just see Jesus, yeah. fall in love with Jesus, yeah. and respond respond to uh, to what he's doing yeah. in and through us and so that's yeah. that's that's outreach that's fellowship. beautiful mm -hmm. Man, I know, right? yeah. <laughs> let's go we like it. Do it. Amazing. <laughs> um, jasmine you felt a call to start green line housing foundation yeah. and that call really can't crystallize at the beginning of 2022 uh, and we really commissioned you out mm -hmm. and called the church to give towards Green Line mm -hmm. and to support Green Line as an organization. Um, remind us what Green Line is yep. and just give us an update of what's been happening since you were sent out to lead your own 501c3. Yeah. Um, so you say call, Michael. I like to say it was a swift kick in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, are you sure, God? And he's like, yep, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, but yeah, Green Line, so we're a nonprofit and we give grants to qualified people of color to purchase a home um, and for home maintenance, specifically to close the racial wealth gap and reverse the effects of systemic racism in housing. Um, Storm talks about systems of oppression and how the church as a people are called to battle systems of oppression. And I can think of few places where oppression and discrimination is as systemic as it is in housing. Mm -hmm. um, since the launch, since Fellowship so graciously commissioned us and stood stood with us really yeah. um, and became a catalyst for, yeah. for Green Line coming to be, um, we've been really busy. Yeah. <laughs> there have been no shortage of things happening. Mm -hmm. um, we've given you know, more than $300,000 in grants wow. um, to people who, wow. you know, the, the most phenomenal. recent of which closed a couple weeks ago, wow. a family that attends fellowship That's uh, amazing. closed wow. on their house a couple so weeks good. ago. Wow. And if, if you've been with us for a while, you might recognize, you recognize both of these faces, Jasmine and Angela, but Angela, you might recognize, recognize her from preaching, from being a pastor on our staff. Um, and Angela, you had... Uh, just an experience with God and a vision mm -hmm. uh, this year as well that led you to Harambe Ministries, um, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So tell us just a moment about that, but also just more importantly, give us an update on what's going on with Harambe. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So for me and my family, it really was two God moments. It was the Lord speaking very clearly to me in a season of like fasting and praying and same with my husband. And then the Lord speaking to Pastor Albert mm. and like neither one of us knew what was yeah. happening. And I fell in love with Harambe when we launched Fellowship Pasadena, yeah. you know, and we got to partner with them then and had no idea that this is what the Lord had in store yeah. in regards to how our family would participate in the legacy of this organization. And yeah. so, but I'm just so humbled and honored mm. to be able to, to pick up um, the Perkins family legacy yeah. and continue to carry it on. I actually feel like I'm at um, another end of where Jasmine is, I'm coming into a 40 year old organization. Harambe yeah. celebrates 40 years this year, wow. which is huge. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. And so, um, and it was started by a prolific civil rights leader, Dr. Yeah. John Perkins and his wife, Vera May. And, um, you know, the, the beautiful thing about Harambe is we exist to nurture and equip the next generation of leadership um, to become indigenous leaders, people yeah. that will lead in their community right where they are. We're yeah. not here trying to take over all of Pasadena. We're focused yeah. on our 10 blocks yeah. and, and intervening in the gang to, um, school to gang pipeline and intervening yeah. in the school to prison pipeline. Yeah. Um, and right now Harambe has really been, um, since I stepped in in January, really have been discerning and trying to focus us. We've been focused on two different tracks, really. Yeah. Um, youth programs, which is really the outward facing thing that um, is so fun. Um, and we're closing gaps. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we will step in where there's injustice. We will step in to close gaps, whether that's educationally or financially or housing, whatever that looks like in that moment. 
we'll do what our name means, which is yeah. we'll get together and push um, towards a more equitable world. That's so beautiful. And you might be wondering, just <clears throat> us highlighting these two particular ministries, uh, we believe that it just takes a village uh, overall to, to bring God's kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. And we rely heavily on local partnerships. And these are two of our key partners mm -hmm. uh, locally. And so we just wanted to highlight them. And Storm, we, so we talked about these, these yeah. key partnerships and these local partnerships. Um, tell us more about how we're doing outreach globally and how right. people can get involved. Right. I mean, I would say with this, we don't want to do anything globally that we're also not engaging here locally. Yes. Right? Amen. So as we think about um, foster care, as we think yeah. about church planting, yes. um, as we think about um, uh, fighting against human trafficking, yes. um, against homelessness, yes. about poverty, right? Yes. Those things we're doing here, yes. we're also um, using your word indigenous, um, continuing to train yeah. and equip uh, people yeah. Um, in India yeah. and in Thailand, where, yeah. we, we, where we show up through uh, organizations that we partner with there. Yeah. And we're still continuing to do that. Yeah. Um, and then we're really excited about going deeper in relationship with, with Convoy of Hope yeah. as well too. Um, that allows us to have a, an immediate response to crises yeah. that are happening around the world yeah. as we hear about. And these are two of our primary partners. We do have other partners as well. There's so many opportunities for you to engage and get involved with the work uh, that we are doing here at Fellowship. And more than anything, we just wanted to say um, it's only through your continued faithful giving that we're able to do this work. Mm -hmm. And so we want to thank you for that and invite you to continue to give so that we can see God's kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. And um, we just look forward to that work continuing and that gospel work continuing in these organizations, in our church, and all the organizations that we partner with. And just thank you so much, Fellowship Family. Yeah. Yeah.